In this video, we are going to learn how to set up Docker on Ubuntu EC2 instance. So if you look at my setup, I have already installed uh, Jenkins. So Jenkins is up and running. Okay. Um, so we are going to install a Docker on Jenkins instance uh, so that you know we can use Jenkins for automating Docker builds, right? For example, you know if you want to automate uh, Docker image creation, uploading the Docker images into uh, ECR and whatnot, right? So those are the things you know we can do using Jenkins. Okay. Awesome. So this is my website guys coachdevops.com. I will be posting the uh, instruction right below the video as well. Let's get started. Uh, this is my uh, EC2 instance where I'm already connected to the Jenkins instance. Okay, it is up and running. Let's quickly see if we have Docker already installed. So obviously Docker is not installed. You see here Docker is not installed. So that is what you know we are going to get started. So if you look at uh, my instruction, yes, you can install Docker in a couple of ways, okay, especially on Ubuntu instance. You can go with the default repository which comes from Ubuntu, right, so that is the one way or you can also install, uh, you know, Docker using official repository, right. So this is a little bit different way. You can also do that, okay. So this is nothing but, you know, you are installing the community edition, okay. Let's go ahead and use the default repository from Ubuntu, okay. So let's quickly do the update here. Okay, and then before I install Docker, let's install these uh, utilities. These are you know mainly used for uh, secure communication and whatnot. Okay, so these are the utility. Okay, so once you install those utilities, let's go ahead and install Docker. So Docker is installed. And then I'm going to add the current Ubuntu user to the Docker group. Okay, so if you see this command, uh, so this is my user, right? Okay, so I'm going to add that user to the Docker group. Okay, so it's important so that you know you can uh, perform Docker commands without sudo. Okay, so that is what that for. Uh, and then in order to uh, take the changes in effect you want to execute this command. So when you do that, you know, you don't have to, uh, you know, come out of the shell and whatnot. Okay. So this is, uh, so you are making it, uh, basically you're reloading the shell right away. Okay. And then I'm going to uh, start the Docker daemon. That's the command. And uh, I want to enable that so that every time you restart uh, this EC2 instance, Docker service is, uh, you know, is going to be up and running. And then I'm quickly checking the status. And so, so everything is good. All right, so Docker is up and running. And of course, if you want to configure any uh, registry and all, you know, you can do that. There are several uh, Docker registry option available for you. You can use uh, a Docker Cloud, which is nothing but Docker Hub, or you can use Nexus uh, to host your Docker images, or you can also use Amazon ECR to configure as a Docker registry and, and, of, co and of course you can also use uh, you know Azure or any other uh, registry as well. Okay, awesome. So we have uh, set up a uh, Docker successfully uh, in Jenkins and then the next step is we need to configure Jenkins in order to run Docker builds. Okay, so how to do that? This is also really easy. If you go to Jenkins, so th this is a brand new Jenkins. I don't have anything uh, set up or anything configured, uh, but we are going to make this Jenkins in order to run Docker builds. Okay, so for that, uh, we have to install Docker plugins. Okay, so there are a couple of plugins available. If you can see here, uh, you need to install Docker plugin, and then uh, if you want to uh, build the pipelines, okay, so you have to install Docker pipeline plugin. Okay. Uh, so, so these are the plugins here, Docker plugin and then Docker pipeline plugin, okay. All right, so let me install that. Let's go to manage plugins, go to available tab. If you search for Docker, see here, so we are going to install this plugin, Docker pipeline plugin, and then we are also going to install, you would install Docker plugin as well, okay. So select those two plugins and then in, say install without restart. Those plugins are installed. Let's come back to Jenkins. All right. Uh, so so far so good. And then we also need to add Jenkins user to the Docker group as well, so that you know you are allowing Jenkins to do Docker build. 
So this is the command for that. Okay, and then you want to restart uh, Jenkins service in order to changes are you know to take effect. And then you also need to uh, you know uh, reload the uh, daemon files as well. So let's do that. Okay, and then I want to and then you know uh, stop and start the Docker service. Okay, so everything is good, and then you can verify uh, if everything is good. Wow, you see here, so everything is good. So basically, so basically we have configured uh, Jenkins in order to run Docker builds. Okay, awesome guys, thank you for watching. So look out for the next video where you know we are going to build um, Docker images, um, all this thing you know using uh, Jenkins. Thank you for watching, guys.